We're going to rip you here Wednesday the 23rd. He bought, he's delivering a new pretty nice golf cart. I'm thinking this, yeah, it is a Honda. Wow. I saw one of these in front of another Honda de dealer. Just, uh, I'm an hour away from home. It's the 1000 Talon. Pretty cool how they got that engine and tranny in there. Setting way up in the air. Uh, I can't drive past this place. We're going up to the fair. They're going to race side by side tonight. I've never seen them perform. More about that later. Wow. I uh, wonder what the price is on something like that. Is it in here? Um, best on earth. Four stroke. So you can just about bet that's probably the best. Uh, best around and there's a red one and this we're gonna go into the used part he's, he's got this one on sale he's got the price on it at $19,999 I'm not sure if it's new or not it's a 2019 rear traveler 15 inches of travel but I always like to see the used bikes up here that a uh, dealer isn't going to have any junk or projects. Oh, I kind of I like the uh, Yamaha even better almost. But it, it, yeah. So isn't it cool because they sell Kawasaki also, Yamaha, Suzuki, and that this uh, Beamer here is called the Flying Brick. I'm not sure if they took it in on trade. It's got a tag on it. 17,000 miles on the clock. Let's look at some used bikes real quick, guys. Let's see what they have. Golden Wings. Touring. Um, oh gosh, what do they call those? Adventure bikes. Uh, this one here was kind of my favorite that I thought Honda did such a great job on. They, it does set pretty low to the ground. This is Yamaha. So that's Yamaha's top of the line model sitting there used. And, and that was exciting to see in here. The one long one, a starter bike. Something over here called a Thruxton. We got to check that out. Oh, a Triumph Thruxton. Okay. That's a classic name from uh, Trumpet. Beautiful Kamasaki. Kind of digging this big like car tire on this Yamaha, the way they set it out. Because if they did, they wanted it slammed, and Yamaha made a bike for the guys, the, the Harley riders. They do have a Beamer in the corner. That Kawasaki. Some cruisers, sport bikes, the sporty. Another adventure bike with the iron butt. Check out that adventure bike. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Kawasaki took a page right out of BMW's book on that one. And a, a custom. By Honda. Okay, that's a Fury. They've got a Fury in stock. Uh, it's kind of a Wineberry. So we need to get to the Honda. And check out the... Um, R&D part over there. That uh, Some like, nice Charles bikes here. About four hundred forty-five ninety-nine on the TW two hundred. I'm gonna go over to the new part. I'd like to see a monkey. Um, but yeah, that's the TW. That's that's a pretty uh pretty big bike there with the fat front tire with Suzuki, which they quit making the automobiles, and I don't blame them. Um, Dual Sport, that's the name I'm trying to think of. I'm sorry. A Suzuki Dual Sport, 650. Now, you'd think something like that would do pretty good on gas. So, I rode a 1200 up here today. Nice lineup of Dual Sport bikes. And I'm seeing a sign that says the door's locked over there. Um, we'll walk, walk on around to the back. Here goes somebody coming in. A race bike, a couple road racers. They're getting pretty high tech. This is BMW dual sport bike right here. The GS. 
and it's called a G310 so I'm not sure about the displacement on this guy yeah pretty gnarly bike right there with just the big bag on the top the guy you know because yeah their side bags really we'll see what's in the back here real quick I think a lot of stuff back here is new like these are brand new kind of a hunting for a whole group of hunters and then the small one would be a lot more maneuverable there's utility vehicles you know my Honda I use out at the farm that's 1986 so yeah the, the doors of the garages are closed so we're not going to be going back in there but th they're full of stuff and uh thank you for watching my videos everyone we're going to rip here at mount vernon ohio checking out the used inventory